There comes a point in some people's lives where they just cannot save their teeth. Let's talk about it. Hi, my name is Jeffrey Butts, and I'm a doctor of dental surgery. I'm the owner of Camp Creek Dental, and I have about 15 years of dental experience. And today, we're talking about when the teeth are done, when it's over, all right? Now, some people, it's not everybody, but some people know when it's over. But they keep going on, going on, trying to do or praying that it's going to be okay, but their teeth are moving. If your teeth are moving in your mouth, there is a problem. This comes from what's called chronic periodontal disease, which is where the person is, for whatever reason, not flossing and brushing on a consistent basis, or they're flossing with those one-handed floss picks, which are absolutely horrible for you, unless you have one hand, um, or they're not brushing, or they're not going to their regular dental appointments. So here's, here's an example, okay? If you're a person that's ever gotten deep cleaning and you see the dentist every four years, you're late for your cleanings, all right? Here's what you should be doing. If you got a deep cleaning, you should then be seeing your dentist every three months for maintenance cleanings. Not to get deep cleanings, cleanings again, no. But in between your cleanings, you need to floss, then brush at least twice a day, at least twice a day. If you do not do this, if you have a meal, drink, smoke cigarettes, and then go to bed without flossing and brushing, your teeth are in jeopardy and you know who you are. It's okay. It is reversible in some cases. It's reversible in some cases, but in other cases, it's terminal. When it is terminal, when you have a whole mouthful of teeth and you will not be able to save them, well, that is when you need to think about what you're going to do to chew. Now, now, some people choose to do nothing. Some people cannot afford to do anything. And that is something, that's, that's what it is. So what's gonna happen is that your face is going to start looking like it sinks in to like a hole that's in your face. That's what it's gonna look like because there's a ridge that holds teeth in. This ridge is called the alveolar ridge. The alveolar ridge is the ridge or the part, the junction where the tooth hits the bone. That's the part that is diseased in some cases chronically and in that's, that's as this example, it's chronically, all right? When you lose that tooth, the tooth falls out. The whole tooth can just fall out. When that happens, that ridge starts to close up and become smaller because the only purpose of this alveolar ridge is to hold your teeth in place. That's it, that's, that's the only job that that has. So when you lose teeth or you neglect the teeth that you have, this ridge becomes unhealthy and it starts to go away because its use is not functioning because of neglect, right? All right, so with neglect comes these consequences in your oral health. And if you continue and continue, well then it becomes what I, I would call terminal. So. We could just say it's terminal periodontal disease, meaning you have teeth in your mouth. They're there, but they're not functioning. You can't bite into a carrot or an apple or a pizza without risk or fear of your tooth coming out with the bite. This happens to some people. They chew only on the side of their mouth. They don't chew on their front teeth anymore because they know that the disease has made their two teeth so mobile that they're almost blowing in the wind. Anyway, if you choose to fix this, if you say, you know what, I don't want to live like this. Well, you have two options and two options only. You can get complete dentures, upper and lower, if that's if the whole mouth is, is no good. And 
and let me talk to you about dentures. All right, so upper dentures are not so bad because the upper part of your mouth, it doesn't move at all. As a matter of fact, it's the bottom part that slams into the upper part into, to make your food get chewed up, all right? So, or in, in what we call is called mastication, chewing mastication, there you go. So when you are in a denture, the upper that doesn't move, usually it could fit very nicely and look very natural and there's nothing that you have to do, usually. But the part where your tongue used to go, your tongue used to go on the roof of your mouth. But now that you have this complete denture, now the denture is now in the way of where your tongue used to be. So it could change your speech pattern, easily fixed enough by just simply training yourself, training your tongue to go into the right place. The only things that really change when you put a denture in and you start talking like this is what's called the sibilant sound. And the sibilant sound is basically S sounds. So in order to practice, all you have to do is practice the number 66 to 76 and the word Mississippi. So it doesn't sound like 66 to 76 and Mississippi. If it sounds like that, keep practicing. But you got this, you got this, all right? Now, the bottom dentures are a little bit more challenging because like I said before, the bottom is the only part of the mouth that moves. Your tongue, your tongue moves, but your bottom jaw is the only part. Your mandible is what it's called, moves. The maxilla does not move. The mandible that moves, depending on how long it's been since you've gotten your teeth removed or lost your teeth, the mandible in that ridge, that same alveolar ridge that holds teeth in place, that alveolar ridge gets smaller when the teeth aren't there over time. It can make it so that that bottom complete denture doesn't stay in as well. Some people, for the top and the bottom, sometimes they need to use a little dental tooth uh, paste, really. It's just a paste, not a toothpaste, but it's a dental glue that holds the dentures in place so that they don't move so that you can feel more comfortable, right? And in some cases, you don't need that at all. The ridge is bold enough, thick enough, broad enough that you put the bottom denture in, you put the top denture in. The patient doesn't do have, have to do anything else except for practice speaking, and then they could go smile to the world, right? That's nice. So what I'm saying is that you can have challenges with the bottom denture. So those are just dentures. And that's one way to replace completely missing teeth, right? Um, and here is the second way. You can have the same type dentures, kind of, same type dentures, but you can have implants underneath. So in a horseshoe or the way that your ridge is, like a C-shape, right? It can just click on and off or stay on there permanently. And those won't come off unless I can take them off for you to clean them and we would do that if you choose to do something like that. Implant retained, it's called a hybrid, all right? If you choose to do that, well then you come see me. We plan it, we place the implants, we get your bite and your smile to look nice and natural. We place the implants, we give you a temporary and then over time you get your permanent and I, then I see you about every three months to unscrew it clean it out, clean you out, and put it back in. That's what that is, right? So those are your two options. Oh, the third option is nothing. That's the third option. You could do nothing. You could lose your teeth, you could lose all your teeth, and you don't have to do anything else. You will gum your food for the rest of your life. You will have a problem with your um, digestion because unless you cut up your food with a knife and fork very well, your stomach isn't going to be able to break down the bigger chunks of food that you send down from your mouth because they haven't been chewed. Chewing is your first part of digestion so that your stomach can do its job and then you have a, a small intestine that does its job. And, and their jobs are to break down the foods, separate the things that we don't need and extract the things that we do need in order to live in order to get our nutrient. If you have no teeth, it just makes this process harder. 
All right, so that's it. No teeth, dentures, or implants. Now, you can have dentures for a temporary time if you're wearing dentures now, that's fine, that's fine. But then you could improve your dentures and improve the feel and the look of them by adding implants that are the substructure for those dentures and then you are really looking good, all right? But you still have to take care of yourself, all right? Just because you bought teeth does not mean that they are invincible, all right? You have to take responsibility for your health and the things that you do and the things that you don't do. That's it, guys, all right? This is your options if you have teeth that are not going to be able to stay if teeth are moving and not working, functioning properly, right? You have a disease, it's called chronic periodontitis, and we can help you at Camp Free Dental or whatever city you're in. You need to go seek a professional so that you can take care of that because it is a bacterial infection that is happening in your mouth that is communicable meaning if you kiss somebody, you could give it to them, and that just isn't fair. It's not fair, right? Just like favor. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, all right? Um, I have a health benefits guide in the description of this video below. Um, also, know what your blood type is. I have many, many, many videos about the blood type diet and why I feel like it is important for you to know who you are and eat correctly for you and your chemistry. That's what the blood type diet describes to the individuals is what I have found. Please like and subscribe. And thank you so much for listening. We're gonna talk about a couple other little things a little bit later.